What's up? Just a quick video on how the replay buffer works in OBS. So first off, you want to go to settings and then under output, um, either advanced or simple, you want to enable the replay buffer and the number of seconds. And then what you also want to do is just set um, especially a hot key on the save replay of the replay buffer. So I've got a hot key for the start and stop, and then I've got a hot key for the save. So I'm going to show you what it does now. In order for the replay to work, um, yeah, and the start and stop hot key can be the same thing because it's basically a toggle you'll see just now. So Alt Shift B and then Control Alt Shift B. I don't know why I chose them. I just set them up now, but you can set them to whatever you want. And then basically, like I'm recording now, and let me just open this. Um, so I'm recording at this point, and this is the video that's currently being streamed and being saved. Whenever you record a stream, you have to use your hotkey or press this button to start a replay buffer. It doesn't mean it's saving it. So what it's doing now is it's keeping like 30 seconds or whatever of your video in memory. And then when I open this um, location where recordings were saved and I press the hotkey, then you'll see it saves the replay. And this one is 23 seconds because it's only been 23 seconds since I guess I press the start. Um, so basically, you can keep this active whenever you record a stream, and then you can click download or your hotkey to save the replay of like the last 30 seconds. And that's how it works. That's the replay buffer. And yeah, it also uses the same. Um, Output as recordings that the same path. Cool stuff. Enjoy.